there it is. This is like another full circle moment for me as a kid when I was like 16 years old. All I wanted to do is shoot a System of a Down concert. I lived in Beirut, Lebanon. I only moved to LA when I was 19. I never got an opportunity to see System in their prime and perform. Like that was always part of like, I'm missing out on something. I never got to shoot System. I never went to a show. And this means a lot to me because not only was the story behind this is crazy, but this photo became one of my more iconic photos as well. This was published in like Rolling Stone. About a couple years ago, I connected with Shavo from System of a Down through my mutual friend Saro, who's in a band with him right now called North Kingsley. They're putting out great music. I connected with Serge 10 years ago. So this was at the music video shoot for Protect the Land, which is the first time System of a Down has put out music for about like 15 years after their hiatus. They haven't put out any music. The war is happening in Artsakh and they want to do something to help these soldiers. They want to raise money. So they all came together and, and got this track going. So Shavo calls me and he goes, yo, where are you? I'm like, I'm in the car driving. He goes, are you alone? And I was like, yes. He goes, what I'm about to tell you, you can't repeat to anyone. System has two new songs we've recorded. We're gonna release. We're shooting a music video for one of these the day after tomorrow. Are you available? And I said, bro, like, even if I'm not, I'm canceling everything and I'm coming. This is like a moment in history. You know what I'm saying? So this shot happened because it's like a shot of the protest that they have in LA and there is a moment where there's like this big Armenian flag just kind of like wavers over their face or the background. So John was actually the first person, he was sitting down and they were just shooting close-ups of him. And I got this moment, I shot this moment. Shavo and Otto were directing the video. As soon as I got this photo, I turned to Shavo and I was like, yo, you gotta see this, like this is iconic. He looks at it, he goes, we gotta do that with all four band members. Like that's, that's crazy, like to get it perfectly. So we did that, we did Serge. None of this was planned. We didn't keep looping the video over. I just was literally there just burst shooting and it's like, and then just captured that one moment. Then we got one with Shabu, we got one with Darren, but I didn't have an idea what I'm gonna do with all this. So I came home, I'm messing around or whatever. I made this, I put all four of them there. It kind of reminded me like, you know, how they're looking and like it gave me like a little Beatles vibe with all four of them. And I texted it to Shabu. He immediately called me back. He goes, do this in high resolution, send this to this email. I'm gonna send this to the label. I'm gonna send it to the team. This, we have to do something with this. Boom, Rolling Stone article comes out. This is the photo in there. Spotify, Apple Music, this is the cover picture. It just, it's the gift that keeps on giving. The vinyl was announced, you open the vinyl, this photo is in it. For me, it's a big deal, because I'm Armenian. I did it for a great cause. We raised money, you know, for the soldiers. We got, the most iconic music thing that's ever happened to Armenians here in a photo. I got to experience it with them and it was just kind of like, it was very emotional. We weren't there for a good cause. We were there because something bad was happening and we all got together to turn it around and I got something very positive out of it. That really means a lot to me. This is a full circle moment from being a fan blasting toxicity in 2001 in Lebanon and being in LA 10 years later and shooting this, I don't know how to explain it. It's just, I love it. I love this. This is why I do this. This is why I shoot stuff. There's like history behind it. I'm documenting history.